How's it going everyone? Marco Moreno here with Jason Thompson. Today we're going to talk about opening the closed guard. Now let me just mention one thing, okay? In Jiu Jitsu sparring, sport, practicing, this would be a position favorable to him because they take away my punches. If I were in a street situation, I have uh, punches, elbows, headbutts, right? So it's not like it's bad for me to be here, but in sparring, we take away uh, strikes, so now I don't have those tools, okay? The only tool I have is to pass in the legs and going on top after I have to get rid of this riddle, which is the close guard. Um, and he has a lot of things with arm bars, chokes, triangles, kimuras, front guard. That's why a lot of people in sport competition jiu-jitsu, you see them jump into guard because it's a position that you can be very strong at attacking from there. So let's talk about a few things to open this close guard. Okay, first, get the inside position first. If you can do this, then you can start standing up. Standing up will be, in my experience, the best way to start breaking this guard. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna grab his collar, one, two, okay? And then I'm gonna start standing up. One knee, and the other one. Notice how I'm very close to him. I'm not separated from him, okay? I'm very tight. Now, from here, a very common response is that he goes for the double ankle sweep. He grabs my ankles, knees together, and he push, and then he brings me back down, okay? But, I'm already counting on him doing that technique. So when I stand up, Right? Sometimes as you grab here, you step one knee, boom, then you step the other one, boom, grab the collars. That's why I'm holding the collars right here. Because now, knowing that he's gonna go for the double ankle sweep, as he open, I'm gonna pinch my knees here. Knees together. Right? And I'm also gonna anchor myself, my palms turn up, like so. Now when he push me, push, I'm gonna be very attached to him. One more time. And the best thing is that he opened the guard. He, not, he needs to open the guard to go for the double ankle sweep. So I counter, go for it. And since the guard is open, I keep one hand, I reach my back pocket, grab the ankle, push across, and I just melt here and pass into the side mount. Okay? So. This is the best pass because you don't need to work to open the guard. You bait in a way the double ankle sweep and then you counter. One more time. Um, some people who might be more agile have a little more speed or explosiveness. Another way to stand up is just kind of lean on his chest and pop both feet together. Okay? That's another way to stand up. So I'm gonna be here, he goes for double ankle sweep, he's going for the knees together ankle sweep variation, okay? I'm gonna pinch, hold tight, he goes, I counter. Guys, here, reach like this, like you're doing a back stroke to your back pocket, okay? Um, and another thing too, don't go with your bicep here, because sometimes you're passing, you can get caught in the triangle. Okay, so my advice is that when you reach back, grab the ankle, shoot the triangle, so you are controlling this leg. Okay, the entire time. As he pass across, here you can just melt and put your weight into side mount. Let's talk about another variation. Same thing, I grab one, two, stand up, one, two. So many times when guys go for the double ankle sweep, they also use the feet on the hips. 
like this, okay? If he lands here on my hips, this is a stronger push. It's gonna be hard for me to anchor here, push, because it's too much force with his legs, okay? So I should avoid the feet touching and connecting to my hips. So when I come here, notice that when he goes for the feet on the hip cross, his knees open, close. So now I'm gonna be very sensitive. When the knee open, look my elbow. Feel the gap and push, okay? Let's turn this angle. Look, I'm gonna pop up, my feet really close. He goes for double ankle, open, look, my elbow right there on the thigh. And then my knee also feels that gap, okay? So go my, again, look. Boom, my elbow push his thigh and my knee covers also. At this point, you can start passing, look, hug, reach back. See that? And now how do you feel, Mr. Jason? Uncomfortable. <laughs> it's a very comfortable position. I'm gonna do a step back, Keep the toes right here. After you do your step back, remove the leg and push his legs that way. And side mount. When he's trying to put the feet on my hips. Guys, don't grab too low here. When you're inside, grab a little bit by the chest. Okay, one, two, you're here. He goes for the one elbow. Could be either side. Push knee. See that? Now this hand hugs. This one down here, back stroke. Hugs. Right? And it's very uncomfortable. Keep your toes on this side. Right? And look at the step back. Remove the foot. Push the legs. And now his legs are facing that direction. And you get a good side bump. about a couple more variations okay when I stand up another thing that might happen is that he never opened the legs and he goes for this switch holding my leg pushing off the ground the feet stay cross now he push with the hips on my knee and then I fall and then he can comes on top okay so I must be ready for this type of sweep. So when I go here, when he start hugging, I bring my knee in, okay? If your knee is out, he's gonna push it and he's gonna take you down. So as he hugs, whichever leg is being hugged, that knee turns in like this. Now from here, you can remove the, the, the slack from the jacket a little low. And now this hand goes here. And now he's in a very kind of awkward contorted situation, right? So now I'm gonna step my foot back and then you can open, okay? And then from here, you can pass this way. You can swim again, got it? I'm going to come up. He hugs my knee in already. See this? Knee in. Posture up a little bit. Don't, don't just push with your torso forward. Posture up. Right? Push this knee. Step your foot back. Start pushing. He opens. Then you start knee cutting here. Or bring it back. Pass. Okay. I feel like when you can hear he hugs, my knee in. We, everybody got this, right? Now look, posture up a little bit, okay? Don't stay here, try to push like this with your torso forward. Posture up. When you push, look my foot. See that? He opens, and now you guys have alternative. Passing here, reaching back, and going. Okay. 
what happens if he doesn't open, doesn't go for double ankle sweep knee thrust or kick variation or this waiter sweep? Okay, in that case, then I have to start opening on my own, okay? So now, you grab here, one, two, uh, uh, and now you're like waiting, right? Like my friend, double ankle sweep. Yeah, it's gonna work, go for it. <laughs> He's not falling because he knows that I'm ready to counter, okay? So in this scenario, I can release some of the slack right here and posture up, okay? Posture up, and now I come here, okay? I never release both because I still wanna have some kind of anchor in case he decide to, at the last second, go for the double ankle sweep, okay? So I'm here, right? He's not really opening his legs. I posture and I go. If at the last second he decides double ankle sweep, I come back here, okay? So I'm here, push, and also step back. And then, and then a little shake, good. Poster, push, shake, 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 open. Okay, start this way. So I'm gonna come up here. All right, he's not opening his legs. Look, a little posture, right? Keep holding the jacket. Reach here, you can use elbow or hand. A um, Couple of things, do a step this foot back so you're not pushing against your own leg, okay? So step this leg back. So now you're pushing to, towards the ground. Another thing, when you push, do a little shake. Shake it, shake it, and now it opens, right? And then from here, it'll be as another bottle cut here, reach back, pass this way, or pass this way. But the legs are open, and now, now it, it becomes passing the open guard. There are a couple of things that you have to have in consideration. Sometimes as you're posturing here, they go for a choke. If they go for a choke, you do a massa pow to discourage him from choking, okay? Uh, my elbows are down though, so I really don't want him to grab my collar. Grab my collar, see it's kind of uncomfortable. He's going over, grab under this arm. It's kind of uncomfortable, but let's assume he gets it somehow. See, he cannot get some. Look, I turn my palm, grab it like this, fingers in, and I just cross the jacket on top and say, man, you really wanna do this? No, okay, right? So really, I must have power to discourage the choke. Another thing, as you are doing the amasa pao, or even here, some people might Think about doing arm bar. So the arm bar, I must be ready. First of all, it kind of feels like you are, I'm too high for the arm bar. It's different than the arm bar here. So I go for the arm bar. I'm kind of, you see that how he bites more my arm. When I'm a little bit standing, my arm is more, it's too high sometimes. So, but at the same time, just be ready to take your arm out hug and pass, okay? Just be ready to, to take the arm out and don't get caught, don't get caught by surprise. I'm just have to be a step ahead of him. A step ahead of him in the sweeps and a step ahead of him on the choke and on the arm bar. A bonus pass, okay? When it's no gi, all right guys? When it's no gi, of course, it gets a little harder because you don't have the anchor of the colors. You don't have the masapao, but at the same time, he cannot do chokes on you. So what you can do here is post on the biceps and come up, right? You can do one at a time, depending on the level of comfort, but let's turn this way. Let me show how would be wrong the wrong position of the feet. If you guys stand up like this, look, that's not good. I'm way back with my feet. 
Okay, you have to get up, get close, so your feet are close to him, right? Your knees are ready to pinch. Now, when he goes for double ankle sweep, go for it. I must posture, lean to one side. As he goes for it, go for it. I kick the leg and I step back and I'm here. Here we have the wrong This angle. Look, no gi. No gi, you don't have the jacket, okay? So look, you go here, boom, he's not going for anything. No problem. If he doesn't go for anything, you come here and you start. Always posture up, don't do this. Always posture up, start pushing. But let's say here, as I'm posturing up, he goes, look, lean to one side, make your weight heavy on one leg, so the other one is light. As he push, go for it, kick forward, and then you step back, and now you're here. All right, let's turn this angle. For no gi variation, countering the double ankle sweep. Post, right, post, he goes, look, look my toes, in. Don't step back, because you are gonna run into the grip, okay? So the idea is that as he go for the sweep, go for it slow, kick forward and around. Kick towards the armpit, forward and around, okay? One more time, the soccer ball is here. So as he go, look, kick the soccer ball back and now you're gonna be here, ready to pass. Hope you guys like the video we talk about opening the close guard using the jacket to anchor yourself and wait for him to move. If he does double ankle sweep, either variation, you should be ready to counter. If he goes to hug your leg, bring your knee in, push the other leg, and open. If he does not go for any sweep, he's very conservative, then you go for it, keep a hand on the collar, and start pushing on his knee, shake it, bring your leg back, and open. And then be ready for countering the chokes or the arm bars. I think on top you have the, the leverage in terms of choking, it has more power for the masapau. And the arm bar, your arm is kind of too far for him to really get a good arm bar, so you're gonna be good at taking it out. Okay guys, and then we did the bonus nogi where you should kick forward and step around. So the concept of this pass is that you are a step ahead of him and you wait and you counter his move. So your move is gonna be trying to stand up and wait. When he opens, you counter the sweep. So you have, in that, in that way, you save yourself the job to actually open in the legs and all you have to do is countering the sweep hold. So he's gonna open the legs for you. Now, in order to be good at these counters, you're gonna probably try it a lot and miss a lot. You're gonna get swept a lot until you really get down to the timing. And I think you had the advantage because you know what's happening. So you are a little step ahead so you're gonna have a little bit of a head start to do the counter, so let me know what you think about these techniques, guys. Um, I would love to hear it on the comments. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with more content next time. Enjoy, and have a good one. Thank you.